Hey you guys, Armed Forces Day is coming up, so we thought it would be fun to celebrate by drawing a ribbon with stars and stripes on it. Now what other holidays would this drawing work well for? Memorial Day yeah. and 4th of July. And 4th of July or Independence Day. Now we're going to show you how to draw the ribbon first before we add the stars and the stripes. So you could use this lesson to draw any ribbon. Okay, now what do they need for this lesson? A marker, some paper, and something to color with. Yeah, all right, let's get started. Yes. We're first going to draw a V in the middle of our paper but towards the top. Now each side of the V we're going to curve so they're not straight lines. So I'm going to come down like this. And we're going to come back up and the sides of the V have a slight curve to them. They're not straight. Yeah, good. Now this side right here, we're going to continue this line coming down. See how it looks like it, it's smooth, it comes all the way through. And I curved it going the other direction, so it's got a subtle S curve to it. It looks like the letter Y. Yeah. Now we're going to connect the top of the Y with a line that comes across like this. And look, in each of the corners, I curved it so there's not a sharp corner. Perfect. Now let's draw another line that's gonna match that one right below it and smaller. Good. Now let's draw diagonal lines on each side of the Y. So we're gonna draw a diagonal line coming down about this far and we'll do the same thing on the other side and we want them to match. They come down to the same distance. And you could draw yours maybe just a little longer on each side. There you go. Perfect. Then we're going to draw another S line that matches this S line right here. We want it to look really close to the same line. And look, down here at the bottom, I made it come down even further. It's longer than this first line. Now we're going to draw the left side. So this line right here, we're going to match next to it. Perfect. Good job. Next, we're going to imagine this line going behind the first part of the ribbon and coming out over here. Now, watch this line. I'm going to curve it, and right here, I'm going to stop so it's the same distance down as this line. Good, you did it. Then we're going to imagine that second part of the ribbon coming through, and we're going to come across and come down and match this line, this other inside line. All right, Jack, I love it. It looks really cool. Then we're going to connect these with a diagonal line on each side. Jack, we did it. Look at that. That was pretty simple, right? Yeah. And it looks really cool because it's three-dimensional. Now, you guys could use those steps to create any kind of ribbon. It could be red or a pink ribbon, but let's add the stars and stripes. Let's first draw a line right here across the ribbon and another line on the right side. Then we're going to add two stripes or two lines coming across. Leave a little space and then draw another line. So we're going to have two red stripes and two white stripes. And we're going to do the same thing over here. Draw two lines next to each other. Leave a little space and then draw a third line down here at the bottom. All right, Jack, we're ready to add the stars. Now, we should have mentioned at the beginning of the lesson that we're going to use pencils too. But uh, you don't have to if you don't want to. You could just use your markers. But we're first going to start with our pencils, and we're just going to do the traditional star. So now we're going to add another star right next to it or right above it. And we're going to repeat this step. We're going to add a bunch of stars going up across and back down on this side. So this part we're going to fast forward, but we're just going to add a bunch of stars everywhere. Now just in case you don't know how to draw one of these stars, I'm going to show you how to draw a star with just the marker. So first I'm going to draw an upside down V, and you can just watch me. I'm going to show our art friends at home. Okay. So the first step is draw upside down V, then we're going to draw a sideways V on each side like this. Cool? Mm -hmm. And then we're going to draw a W shape to connect the bottom. That's pretty simple, right? Yeah. Now you can, the more you draw that, the easier and better you'll get at drawing stars. But now that we have all of these traditional stars right here with our pencil, we're just going to go along the outside with our marker. This is what's really fun. Now you can just quickly go around and add that black line on the outside of the star. Now we're gonna fast forward again. 
And when we're all done with the markers, we're actually going to go through and erase the pencil lines, the guidelines, and then we'll be ready to color. Stars are pretty tricky, aren't they? Yeah. But the more we practice them, the better we get at drawing them. We have all of our stars outlined and we also have the pencil lines erased. Now we're ready to color. Yes. This part, we're going to fast forward one more time, but at the end, you can pause it if you want to match our same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. Jack, good job on coloring your ribbon. It turned out perfect. Did you have fun coloring? Yeah. You think it looks better colored in? Yeah. <laughs> now I hope our art friends are gonna take time to color their drawings too, because I agree. I always think it looks better colored in. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your ribbons. Yeah, we do. We hope you had a lot of fun. And we also wanna tell all of the armed service people out there that are serving our country, we love you and we're very grateful for you. And we'll see you later, art friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.